Bryce, you've travelled Sea Siren over to Ascot for the, uh, the, the Jubilee. Firstly, how's she travelled over? Look, we've uh, we've had a good, uh, we've been near on a week now, or we have been here a week now, and um, uh, it's fair to say it's taken that week to get her back on track in terms of her condition and where she's at and feeling good about herself. But um, that, that, I mean, that's the rigours of, of, of long haul travelling, and um, a week on, we're pretty happy with where we're at. We saw her have a gallop this morning down on the, on the lime kilns, and she looked to be in pretty good order. She is. Uh, she needed it, and um, pleased we went down there because um, we will probably work there again, actually. And uh, she's been down there and had a look now, so that's pretty good. And um, probably just letting her um, feel, her, feel her way up. I mean, it's as flat as we can sort of find around here, but uh, just let her get, her get her toe on top of the ground and feel the sort of undulation of the ground that they serve up here. Now that she's acclimatised, she's obviously doing well and, and eating up well. She is, yeah. She's had uh, she's had a really, really good 48 hours, uh, which is the big positive thing about it. And uh, she sort of got back on the upward spiral, and that's reflective in, uh, in her licking her bin and her hydration and, and her weight. We're still a bit over a week and a bit away from the race. What are the plans between now and then for her as far as work goes? Just see where we're at um, tomorrow morning and uh, assess her blood profile tomorrow afternoon and probably do a similar piece of work Saturday morning and... Uh, or just work that out, but she'll she'll probably will definitely gallop her own company on Tuesday morning and and, um, and go back down where we were this morning. Now will she go to Ascot for a familiarisation between now and race day, or just straight in? No, nah, she'll head just head straight down there race morning, and um, um, we'll go from there. Ryan Moore takes the ride, I believe. You're obviously not going to lose him there, having the, the best local jockey on board. Yeah, absolutely. Delighted to have the services of Ryan and the skill set that he possesses in the saddle. And I mean, um, we're probably not um, made aware of of, uh, of just how good he is down our neck of the woods. We don't get the exposure to him, but he's obviously held in the highest regard up here. And um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a bit of a buzz to have him on, to be honest. What about the draw and the track itself with that sort of last little bit of uphill rising? That might be tricky for her? I think so. <laughs> I think so. Uh, I had the fortune of uh, shipping down there yesterday and, and having a look and walking the track. And uh, I've got to say, it's a, it is a testing course for horses from our neck of the woods, I would, I would anticipate. So, but look, we're no trailblazers. It's been done before. But in terms of the profile of our horse and the manner in which she might need a race, um, she just might want ridden a bit quieter just to, to attack the line. But if, you know, if she gets halfway up that course um, and she replicates similar something to her last run, um, she's going to be thereabouts.